Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice. Today we're going to be featuring one of your most requested songs. And that means we're going to be listening to Postmodern Jukebox again, featuring Haley Reinhardt. You guys have been requesting over and over Seven Nation Army. So I am particularly excited to hear this song. It was originally by The White Stripes, and it has a very infamous bass line. Postmodern Jukebox is fantastic at taking uh, common songs, maybe famous songs that we've all heard, and turning them into a vintage jazzy feel. So I'm really curious how they're going to morph this song. And also, I can't get enough of Haley's vocals. So I'm so excited to get to hear her again on this channel. Let's get to it. I'm gonna fight them all. A seven nation army couldn't hold me back. They're gonna rip it off. <laughs> Taking their time right behind my back And I'm talking to myself at night Because I can't forget <sighs> oh, Back and forth through my mind Behind a cigarette Yeah, she just, for me, has one of the most instantly attractive voices for a female that I've ever heard. It's it's so uh, sultry, but it has like a really nice, uh, it has a nice um, placement with a lot of focus in the sound, so it cuts too. I really just like her voice, but it's not just because of the tone quality. I love the different ways that she plays with her voice. Even just now, there was one spot in particular that I got so excited about the way that she added just a touch of really fast vibrato. It's very stylistically correct. Um, the song arrangement so far, super cool. I like that they still started out with that bass line, so you instantly knew it was White Stripes. Um, but they've swung the beat. And so everybody's snapping, of course, but instead of having a straight beat, which would be or they're swinging it. So the beat has like a hang behind in the subdivision. And that's what turns it suddenly into a jazz song right from the very beginning. I also love that we're really just focusing on the bass and Haley's voice immediately at first, and then you get the piano back in a little bit. I'll go back a little bit, listen to that swing beat, and see if we can catch that moment when she did the really cool fast vibrato. And I'm talking to myself at night because I can't forget. That's a spot where there's fast vibrato and a slide off. Whoa, right there. <laughs> And she even does a really, she's really careful and intentional about where she slides. They're not slides everywhere. She adds them as different pieces of expression and she's very, very intentional about where they go. Let's see, the whoa is really cool. reminded me of a few different New Orleans bands that I've heard live. Like current bands, that was just really, really cool. The way they brought in the brass here, and I think they've got a clarinet too, and it's got the mute on it, and they're doing the wah-wah sounds. Ah, oh, that was a delightful little instrumental break, and that was a freaking delightful growl that Haley did. Oh, so good. She's she's constantly playing with the placement so it can go back here and then it moves forward here. And then she would do the growl at the laryngeal level. <sighs> yeah, she's so cool. 
The little boo that she did, that was an octave little slide up. So she started on the, the note on the bottom and then went up an eighth, essentially to slide up. But it was almost like she did a little yodel there for a bit because she did go from a chest voice and then slid up into head. But the slide made it not quite a yodel. It was such, such a cool little bit to add on top here. Oh, she's so creative. <laughs> and the feeling coming from my foot says I'm gone. Ah, this is fantastic. Uh, I am loving how she's changing up every line she says. It's like her creativity is limitless. You don't hear her do the same thing twice, even though it's been a lot of the same melody line throughout. So uh, I really, really love this. It's keeping the song alive so much so that it's hard for me to stop it. But when I do stop it, I ramble because I love it so much. Okay, I'll keep going, I swear. Uh, let's go back a little. I really liked that key change. So they just shifted up right there with, the, uh, even Haley was singing at that point, was loving the different scatting um, syllables she was choosing, the way she'd open up to like ahs more on top or ease on top, and then o's really helped. Sounds like an o is probably her favorite vowel in her chest voice. Not sure, I'd have to ask her, but I think that's probably why she's choosing it. change <laughs> Nice far from this hour of forever like a little Jessica Rabbit happening here too. Um, this is, this, wow, that was just fantastic. First of all, that syncopation moment and the way she growled with it and even her movements, she has everything. It's almost like, almost like a little bit burlesque inspired movements, really fantastic. Uh, I love the way that they dropped the bass and the drums and the piano out. Uh, in this last section. So you had just essentially the brass and wind reed instrument. I, so I think you have a trombone, a trumpet. I think that's a clarinet in the back too. Um, I love the way that all of those instruments also got quieter. It's very easy for many brass instruments to overwhelm a voice. So they got quieter. They all kind of got this muty sound and it sounded it sounded kind of creepy, like almost something from a Halloween movie. I loved that section. We're gonna go back and listen to it one more time. Ah, oh, this is a great solo too.
beautiful tone shift from her. From this hour of forevermore, I'm gonna work the strong. I love that octa slide up. Make the sweat <laughs> drip out of <laughs> it's so amazing. She sounds like has this innocent, cutesy voice like every now and then, like when she goes up and does that octave up. It's like cute. It's fun. And then right there, it sounds like such, it's a dirty sound. It's gritty. It's uh, such a huge contrast in tone quality that she's able to achieve. The strong or make the sweat drip out of she's able to sustain this like full throated growl is only possible because she's really supporting from her body you see her body like you see her go down into her body to use really those lower breathing muscles like muscles that are below your diaphragm she uses those to sustain her sound so that she's able to have that endurance and keep going through that growl section because that is a heavy growl that she's doing Whew, and it is really good. It's it's just fantastic. Okay. Oh, I love the way that she riffed into the bass pattern, that infamous bass pattern at the end of this section. Right there. having so much fun in this last last section. You can just look at her face by, to see how much fun it is, but it's also really fun to hear the way she's taking, again, that specific bass line, and she improvises on it. She moves it up higher and lower, kind of seems like almost like a harmony with it at one point. And then she even did this like extra, like intentionally she'd go in a little flat to some notes to give them a little extra style. It was very expressive. I loved that moment. And I also love the way that she can make it more staccato, more divided, or sometimes she'll pick a much smoother line. And she was just going all the way through her range in different areas. This was such a creative, fun riff at the ending. Let's listen to it again. Oh, here? There we go. What a ridiculously satisfying version of that song. I I think I'm going to listen to that more than the original now, actually. Oh, and it's, it's a fantastic arrangement. Really, truly, I love the way they put it together. But the thing that makes it for me like crazy are Haley's vocals. She is so creative and so expressive. I love the way she adds and takes away growl at any point. Um, and the way that she supports her voice, even the way that she breathes, sometimes she'll breathe in through her teeth to prepare for a certain phrase. 
And you can tell that she's really taking care of her voice the whole time because of the way she's continually singing with her whole body. I'm not worried about her losing access to parts of her vocal folds in a few years. Just super fantastic. That last riff in particular was fantastic. Fantastic. I loved the way that she played with the melody, changed it up, harmonized with it, and the way that she went throughout her range, her entire range. Wow. Still just completely enamored with her vocals. She's just super, super incredible. So thank you to all of you who recommended watching this. I loved it. I just loved it. Uh, please continue making those recommendations down below uh, in the comments of this YouTube video. And we are here every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday at 8 a.m. Arizona time. And if you want to chat some more with us, you can always join us on Patreon. We have a very active Discord. Sometimes we play video games. It's really fun. And if you want to learn more about singing or about music in general, you can check out my courses on thecharismaticvoice.com. I'll see you guys somewhere soon.